What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. How the hell are you? What's going on? Walking Dead, episode four of season 10, Silence the Whisperers. Um, yes. That shit was written all over the world, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, graffiti everywhere, you know? It's, graffiti. Um, I think it's called, I think it's pronounced graffiti. Is it? Is that what it is? Um, graffiti? Tell me how you felt about this episode. Just give it to me, man. What do you, I mean, overall, what, give me some Overall, highs and I lows. mean, uh, well, let's, let's pose the question to you. Do, do you think that uh, with let's all pose the, the chaos. To you. <laughs> with all, you just did, but my, a big part of it is your obviously. Question with a question of my own. <laughs> A big, uh, a big part of this is obviously now uh, we have Hilltop with this, with this tree that that collapses over. Right, the, the mystery fall. grows. Yeah. Um, so we have Alexandria getting bombarded from the north and the south with walkers. Now we have Hilltop. Do you think that the whispers are the ones who are doing yes. this? Yes. Yeah, it's too much of a fucking coincidence. Right. Like, I think all after of a sudden. This yeah. yeah, it's so much of a coincidence. And not only that, you have Michonne. She's bouncing around. Mm-hmm. She's not. He, she's here. She's there. She's. She's all over the place right now, you know? Like, dude, they're obviously keeping tabs on them. They know what's going on. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, obviously, you know, things are happening in this episode. You know, the stuff with Lydia went down. Yeah. Um, You know, it's... uh, I feel bad... I'm liking the Negan stuff with her. Yeah, well, you know what? Because they're very similar in how they're kind of looked upon. Obviously, Lydia's looked much differently because she's... I mean, technically, if you think about it, she's really looked upon as a killer also, right? Because she's... A lot yeah. of these people, they know of where she came from, even yeah. though she didn't necessarily do it. It was they don't her ki- mother. Dude, people so, are freaking assholes, yeah. dude. They don't give a yeah. shit. It's like, yeah. now, Negan, you have no choice. Like, Aaron, uh-huh. Aaron's never gonna, never going to, no. because yeah. his, his, you know, uh, his, his husband, his, his Aaron, boyfriend, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, they, he, he's never going to ever see him other than that. Mm-hmm. But... You know, and everyone's... Well, the whole group really won't. You know what it is, dude? Listen, everybody that, that Negan law, you know, yeah. killed. And... and you can't blame them. Look, you can't blame them. He was a fucking no, maniac. No, but, but it's just... The whole point is, but, is that they're in just a very similar situation and circumstance in Alexandria. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, they definitely the way, are. The way people are looking at them and talking to them and poor Lydia with the way these kids are just, like, tearing but, at you know, her but, all you the know, time. Dude, but nobody... Dude, it's like... It's, a, it's almost a commentary on the everyman. It's like... The normal person is a, is, is a fucking re like yeah. I almost said the R word. Sorry, one. <laughs> but that's how I feel. You know what I mean? Like they're all yeah. stupid. They're rejects. All right. Yeah, it's like you're, the you're stupid. It's like what? Like you can't you just can't like comprehend that. Like you just it's like it's 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 racism. You know, it's it's a similar thing of racism. Like like racism should never exist because. It makes no. It just makes no fucking sense. Mm-hmm. It makes no mm-hmm. sense. And so you have this this young girl, this teenage girl, who yeah, you know, she hasn't been with them with her mom. She left her mom. Like, you know, like nobody. My point is nobody. Nobody can see past certain. Nobody can see past no, that. Yeah. Negan, yeah. I get it. He killed a lot of people. I get that. But for this girl, like, well, they're feeling the same way though, because their best friends were killed. You know. But At that's one my point, point, but that's my I know, point. Though, I understand the point. I understand the point. Like, and most people are going to feel the same way that it's just annoying. You know what it is? It just yeah. it just annoys me, and it doesn't give me hope for the future. If this was a future uh, where people are still, you know, I mean, look, they're fighting. Unfortunately, they're fighting people in dead masks. So I mean, what can you know? Everyone's a f- fucking maniac. Unfortunately, so. in real life, that happens, and I'm sure it, well, that's there's the, something that's similar the would yeah, would happen if this, God forbid. Anyway, happens. but that's that's the For point. Us. That's what they do. But then, but yeah. then it's just the violence that's brought upon. Like yeah. it's the violence that's just that's just brought upon. Like by the older woman who's like get her. That's know? my point. Like people deserve, <laughs> but even like people that then you know then you get like that 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 bitch deserved to die then. Like that bitch deserved to die. I mean, well, it's Negan, a, li- Negan a little cheesy. It's a little says cheesy, it's though. Like, I mean, a little, who, who gets who, who get? You're not gonna get pushed. You're not gonna get pushed into a wall, and your head's just gonna crack immediately. Maybe, like, maybe he's the Hulk or something. Yeah, I don't know. know. It's a little it, dude. Smashed. I looked at that, and he was just like, Man. yeah. He kind of just he, threw it to the side. Pu- yeah. You know, she, people well, get hit he, by cars and don't die, bro. Like, it, was, like you know what I mean. Like, there give was me a, a deleted. Break. There was a deleted scene for that because uh, yeah. a lot of people were having an up uproar. Same and thing, right? Same way like, as you. Yeah. So there was a scene where uh, I mean, obviously they cut it out, but Negan pushes her. There's she stumbles. There's a rock 
There. There's always she, a rock. She, she trips over that. There's always a rock, Mike. Obviously, no, I'm actually kidding. There was a banana peel Negan uh, threw it's, it's, earlier. It's, there, was a, there, was a, there was a rock on top of a banana peel. On top of a banana peel. That's how she crushed But I mean, head. but anyway, I don't know how you feel about that, but that's. Whatever, I mean, man. listen. Like, I, that's, you know, I'm, you I'm more push like. It forward. It's like, I, they, I, you know what it is? They, they, they need little. They got to push things. So let's just do this. Let's just do that. Let's just put it there, I feel like. Yeah, well, he felt, you know, we said this already, but he he feels they're they're kind of on the same boat. So <laughs> it's cool to see Negan in that way because we've been kind of seeing we've been seeing this change, obviously, and even in the past season since he's been locked up, and uh, even before that with Carl, how he has these kind of he he likes these, you know, he gets along with kids for yeah. the most part. So I kind of like that that side of Negan. Obviously, you can really never forgive what he's what he's done uh, to our group. Um, maybe he'll redeem himself. There'll be a big redemption arc, which I'm assuming will happen. But um, yeah, I I do like how he interacts with Lydia in this, and he saves her. And and I love I, I say this all the time, but I love him with Judith. And uh, let's see what happens with Negan well, because now we don't know. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Here's my where he here's, is. Or... Here's here's more concise thoughts about Negan. Yeah. All right. So you know what? Something we never considered. So we're sitting here going, oh, you know, in the in the comic book, you know, Negan does something to help out with the war against the Whispers with with Alpha. I won't. We won't spoil it in case it happens in the show. But you know, something happens, and 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 he was an integral part of that. At, you know, uh, you know, to show Rick and everybody. That he's a changed man. What what you and I didn't consider was this this type of situation where, because we, I was confident in the fact that, I think what they did last episode with Aaron was really really great. Where he was like he he spelled it out. He's like, I don't want to be out there. I'm fine right here doing yeah. the doing the gardening, cleaning up stuff. I'm perfectly fine here. Yeah. I like that. I thought that was a very good way to keep that character being like, nah, dude, I'm done. Like, I just, I did what I did. I know I, I know I hurt a lot of people, but you know mm. what? I'm, I'm fine here. Watch me. Don't watch me. Put me in a cell. I live in a cage, whatever. I'm, he was fine with it, dude. Completely fine with it. Then, so then, so, so, so in my head, I'm like, well, nothing's really going to make him leave. He left once and then he had, a, he, and then he came back. So now I'm thinking, well, Judith made him come back. But the point is, is that, you know, I'm like, oh, he's never going to leave. Except we didn't we didn't anticipate this. So yeah. the fact that now his life is on the line, he's you know, like you said, the guy let him out. Okay, but and then I'm like, but why we is assume, he going to stay? Well, we assume that they that we the assume guard because or he's whatever, like, oh, hard to catch up with. Whatever that was yeah. in the coming attractions for the next yeah. episode. But my point is, is that he did it once already. So there's got to be a reason for him to go out again. He already know. You know what I mean? So he's like, well, I guess I'll take my chances out there if they're going to, if, if my life is in the hands of people that, you know, he thought he probably thought, and rightly so, he that had no they were going to vote against him. Yeah, and yeah then he had course. no choice. So anyway, those are my thoughts on Negan. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm curious. I'm I, I'm very curious to see. All right. Okay. Okay. So what are they doing? What's the point? What's the point of bringing him back out into the thing? And he's, you know, well, whatever, yeah, no spoilers, but if you're a comic book reader, it's yes, a, exactly. And my, so my, my, my thought of that is he's going to yeah. do something to show everybody, Hey, look, we'll I see. am on your side. We'll I, see. I belong in Alexandria, not out here. Yeah. They um, can, they can, they can change it up a bit. I mean, obviously they've taken plots and, uh, pivotal parts of the comic book and change it with different characters or well, you know, it's not you those know, kind of things. So who knows, you know, speaking, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil and give away anything for people that don't know. Well, that's really what I'm saying. Happens. So, so, but, but speaking about the comic, another thing, another comic uh, thing that we got this episode was uh, Michonne and, and Zeke. He, uh, yeah. they were the ones that got together in the comic. Um, not like that. Yeah. Not liking that, man. You know, but yeah, so then they get together, but I dude, no, they share a commonality, and you know that was just kind of one of those things. Like, uh, you know, hey, you know, you know, he he just he's lo he's lonely, dude. He's lonely. Yeah. I don't know, man. I didn't like seeing him mope around and doing this. I I, I didn't like that. Like, what were you gonna jump or something? Like, I don't yeah, know. I didn't like I don't that. Know. I and dude, Michonne's just everywhere though, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, she's just mm -hmm. all over the place. Yeah. She's like in every town. She's all over the place, and and she's all over the place with Lydia. I mean, with Lydia, with uh, Judith, which kind of yeah. scared me in this, 
And this, uh, I mean, it was really cool two. watching like, them fight. It's like you know what? Not cool, enough, enough. It, it was cool, but it's funny because I told you off camera when they arrive at Hilltop to to give a hand. Um, the first thing I'm like, all right, Eugene, grab grab Judith and get her in the house, you know. And then all oh, of a sudden, yeah. you're you're seeing her fight alongside her mother, which is cool, but it's kind of unbelievable because she's a small little thing and she's like slicing these six foot tall walkers. It's just just the physics of it d- doesn't make sense to me so much, but. Um, yeah, you know, hey, listen. I mean, listen it was cool. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. It's just, <clears throat> I, you know, I love Judith as a character, and I know that they're not gonna kill her off or anything. But every time she's out there, we have the whispers, God knows where, and they're just <clears throat> strolling along on this horse-driven car carriage. And um, at any moment, the whispers can come out, and poor Judith can be, you know. Yeah. Uh, um, so I don't know. I just, I, <clears throat> it's just we got like, uh, CPS might have been called if this was going on uh, well, well obviously yeah but she was keeping her close to him um yeah, couple, no, it's, it's cool a couple things i did like uh how they were both like they both confessed to each other uh michonne and zeke that they uh yeah. they wanted to die they thought about dying you know yeah. I, I thought that was interesting you know like yeah like let's let's talk about that like that's definitely a thing obviously you know um they, they both lost you know someone that they cared about very much and not not only that like well, Michonne's lost a lot. About, he yeah, lost she, a son and a wife. She lost her her husband. You know, it's like she lost her son originally. I, I mean, a big part well, of that. I yeah, thought she that's was, what I'm saying. I thought she yeah. was really she was referencing when she was out there alone before she found Andrea. Oh, I yeah, I guess I I I I, I thought when you she remember how lost she was. Oh yeah, yeah, true, yeah. And up until the really formula, the, the baby formula stuff, you yeah. know, I always want these characters to reference about like, all right. So we know that we know that the hilltop, the kingdom, our Alexandrian people have been together now for a while. Obviously, it's like six plus years since Rick has been gone. Mm-hmm. But I would love for uh, uh, some dialogue where, you know, Daryl and Ezekiel or something talk about you know, the farm or something or, or, you know, I would, I would just love some referencing about what happened in the past between characters that don't necessarily, that we haven't seen Mm -hmm. the conversation. Like we don't know if all, you know, behind the scenes or whatever, they, they had these conversations already because they've been with each other for a while, but it would be cool to hear some of these old names with characters that you wouldn't necessarily, uh, that weren't there. But they're all gone though. That's a problem, it's, though. It's like, like if she would have mentioned Andrea, like until I found Andrea. So even to Ezekiel, even if it was that, I would have been. I, yeah. it's cool to bring up. It's kind of cool to bring up some of the 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 past. Um, yeah, when the show season, was really good, the early stuff. Well, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but uh, so, you know, I mean, I always like that kind of stuff. Yeah, and I, I, I agree. I agree. I, I think know. that, that would have been cool. Just, you know. Another thing I did like too. You mentioned Daryl. I like I like yeah. their conversation. I like I like. I'm actually liking Daryl this season. Mm-hmm. Last season, he was a loner. He was, you know, out and about and by himself and, you know, looking for Rick and then just with the dog. And, okay, yeah. great. I really like what they're doing with him this, this season and they're making him part of the family. And he's taking care, taking care of Carol. He's watching RJ. He's taking yeah. care of Lydia. Like, he's around. And I like it because I like the character. Mm. I think Reedus plays him really well, but he also yeah. plays him in a way that we've seen a billion times. Like, what he's 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 turned into a caricature of himself. But now, this season, you know what I'm saying? Like, this season, well, they're, he's, they're allowing him to have a different, to show a different side that we've yeah. only seen glimpses of. And. Well, I agree. I like it. I, mean, I like it. I like seeing him there with people, taking care mm-hmm. of people, being a leader, being a yeah. part of the group. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Wow, I, I like it. Too. it. I mean, I like it too because we always had these questions after Rick was after Andrew Lincoln left the show. Who was? How are they going to you know do this and that? Who was going to step up? So right, yeah. now we have multiple characters stepping up. I mean, Michonne's kind of like the badass leader. Carol's really almost like the loner now because she's been dealing with a whole bunch of heart she's heartache. She's been alone and, for a while, but you have yeah. Aaron also stepped up. And, um, you know, yeah, Ezekiel you see, you stepped see down. More. Apparently, it's like you know. Well, he's he's kind of like a shell of himself. Obviously, he feels yeah. uh, he feels upset about letting the the people from the kingdom down and letting yeah, the right. kingdom fall and all this kind of stuff. But yeah, it's, it's, um, I mean, that was our biggest, biggest worry, our biggest concern about after the character of Rick was gone is how are they going to, 
make the show um, still still exciting to watch and, and um, the anticipation there and all this kind of stuff. So I think they're doing a good job. And like you said, I agree with with Daryl and the dialogue and that we're hearing more more from him. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, that's that's all I got, man. I don't think there's yeah, much just else. Yeah, looking. I mean, really, it's. Uh, you know what the kinda... mystery the mystery remains you know who is it is it them yeah. is it not them is it coincidence i think it's them yeah. um you know we're going to see the whispers next episode right uh i believe so I think we're going to see um, some whisper stuff i think so. there's i think there was some like gamma stuff uh, oh there's a lot of gamma scenes, stuff. Right? yeah it looks some weird shit um let me ask you this before one last thing there was um there was a scene where I believe it was Daryl and Michonne talking about Lydia and having to keep her safe because she once, says, yeah, once they find out that if Lydia was to leave, like keep an eye on her, you know, if Lydia, that's left, their only sure. bargaining chip. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. maybe that's the reason why they didn't, um, come she, through with the whore. She flat they out said Lydia. it. She flat out yeah. said it though. She said, well, we, she would have killed us right there, especially yeah, so after Carol have... did her, did her stunt. She's like so, so. So she's obviously the only thing. Yeah, but I do. I still think that she could be fucking. That she's still fucking with them. You know, she's doing these little uh, things and. Yeah, yeah. I will. I mean, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. There was like, I think there was a question on Talking Dead or something. It's like, you want to know if the whisper is knocked down the tree? Go over there and see if there's uh, axe marks or something. Because it's like, <laughs> if you see axe marks, they knocked it down. It wasn't uh, a rotted tree that just fell over because of time and mother nature. You know, so I guess I mean, I guess we'll see. Wouldn't you think that if the whisper is too, I mean, I could be being too literal right now, but wouldn't you think that the people that are watching that like the the uh, what do they call them? The guys that are looking in the yeah, the watch the tower, lookouts. Yeah. Yeah. The lookouts. Wouldn't would, we hear like you're here. People yeah. Chop a tree ring, 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 <laughs> take a chainsaw to the tree. So anyway, I don't know. I could just be. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, you're right, I guess. Or, yeah, maybe it is. I don't know. In, 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 in the world you of. You know what it is? It's, it's walking. It's, it's typical happen. Walking Dead, man. It's typical yeah. Walking Dead. You know, so. throw some, some mystery stuff in there. But. Yeah. Hey, question, question, it question. It is what it is. Yeah, so, so. You know, that's it. Let, let let us know what you guys think about all these yeah, things we Yeah, absolutely. About. Right down in the comment uh, section below, there's a nice conversation. I enjoyed this this uh, conversation with you about, uh, what is this, episode four, right? Episode so we have four, yeah. four more, but I guess, uh, before the break, the mid-break. Um, so, yes, uh, right oh, in the comment section yeah, below. Yeah, we're going to go eight. It goes 16. Yeah, it goes eight and eight, right, all the time. Eight so um, thirdpersonpod.com and the Google searches brings you right to our channel, Third Person Pod on all the other social media outlets. We're all, all over the place. Yep. So uh, it's very easy to find us. Uh, thanks again for watching our reviews. Thanks for, for watching. Thanks for liking. Leave a review on any of the audio things. If yeah, you just listen to this right. or you iTunes, watch it. Yeah. Whatever, let it go. Tell tell someone about it, and uh, you know, go to go check out all our other stuff. We got some really cool stuff on this channel. Yeah. So that's gonna do it. Thank you for everything. <laughs> we'll see you next we'll time. We'll go. We'll go with that. Yeah, all right, <laughs> Later. Bye.